Jerry, uh oh, soon gets a puncture. And Claire gets all bogged down. I may be slow, says Tom, but I have the biggest tyre around. That's right, he's got stuck in the mud, hasn't he? Because their wheels aren't very good in the mud, but the tractor's got such big wheels, his wheels do really well in the mud. So we won the race. Everyone. welcome back to my channel I hope that you're all doing really well and that you survived the heat wave okay if you aren't in England or in the UK you might not have known but we had just like a few days of really crazily hot weather probably like I don't know if it's the hottest it's ever been I think it was like 38 degrees in places it was really hot it was a real struggle actually but then like after a couple of days it's just on and today it's been raining and it's grey and cloudy and yeah it's not that warm so anyway yeah so I hope you're all good so today I thought that I would just pick up the camera and um, me and Arthur quite soon we're leaving to go to I think they call it it's like a pop-up village which we've never been to before so it's basically in a hall I think and there's like different stations for role play so yeah it's meant to be like a village one station might be the vets and another station might be a supermarket and they'll have toys kind of relevant to that like yeah and obviously there'll be other children there so that's quite exciting I've had it booked for a little while and yeah it's kind of the first thing that I've been to with Arthur crazily and um, even though he's two like I've not been to any groups or anything because of Covid I've just always been worried there was a time when I was gonna go and I was looking into it and then the rates picked up again um, and then like there was another time when I was gonna go and then it was like winter and I thought it's probably not the best time because everyone's gonna have colds and Covid might be more prevalent so yeah I know that's probably I don't know a lot of people probably have been going to groups and for ages um, I don't know like it's probably not that common but yeah anyway yeah and like, I've also looked for loads of different groups and let me know like how do you choose which ones to go to because I've there's one like gymnastic type ones I want to go to for him to like climb and jump because he loves that kind of thing there's like a dance one like music that i want to go to there's a messy play one and i can't go to all of them also i won't go to all of them every week and uh, maybe there might be some weeks where i don't want to do any but it's kind of like i don't want to do all of them because if i'm only going to them once a month each one like he's not gonna get that used to like the people in the place so i don't know how to choose but anyway this thing today is just a one off I think I think she does run them like sometimes during the year but yeah it's not like a weekly thing so yeah I'm quite excited but I'm nervous um just I don't know just because there's other mums there and like I said, I've not been to anything like this before so I don't kind of know what to expect but at least it's not like a play group so you know the play groups I think it's kind of just looks like the parents sit around and the kids are just in the middle you know all playing together and the mums are on the side chatting like I really wouldn't feel comfortable <laughs> so um yeah, excited, but I just feel a bit anxious about it, I suppose. But I'm sure it'll be fine, and I'm sure Arthur will love it. So, um, like I said, so it's about 10 now, so we're probably going to leave it about half past 10. Um, it starts at 11, I think it's on until 10 past 12, so I don't know. I wouldn't be surprised if you kind of, like, fell asleep in the car after that, or when we get home. Hopefully we can, like, have lunch before he wants his nap. Um, but anyway, yes, so I will speak to you in a bit. So we have just parked and um, I've noticed a couple of people going in so I guess we'll go anywhere a bit early um, but it's quite useful to get early so I kind of know I'm just looking at other people and seeing what they're taking. This is what I mean, this is why I get nervous because yeah you don't, I don't know do I take the changing bag, is it going to get in the way, is there going to be anywhere to put it but then I need like water and stuff and uh, yeah anyway that's kind of the things I get nervous about. Obviously we have seen other children and mums before that doesn't worry me you know obviously we go to parks and he plays with his cousins and stuff so that 
side of things I'm not nervous about it but it's just um I don't know anyway yeah so we've made it so I guess we will go in now will we Arthur do you think it's open now yeah yeah and um yeah so I'll see you it'll be like an hour bit over an hour and uh then I will I'll let you know how it goes really 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 good I feel loved it I loved it um yeah as you I did film like a tiny bit of it and I, I took some pictures so if I can I'll like insert them but it was really really good I had a really good time and yeah we'll definitely go there again when it's on so we got back Arthur wanted milk and then fell asleep so I had my lunch when he was asleep um, because Matt kind of needed to have his lunch break then anyway, so we've had ours. So yeah, we're actually having, he is having lunch in here. Um, yeah. we actually did this at the weekend as well because, yay! yay! So I didn't think I was going to be able to get him in onto the, at the table. Is it a bit hot? No. And it is a bit late, so I said he can have it here, but he wants to watch the TV. Um, but yeah, we don't do that whilst we are eating. So I won't talk too long now because I don't want to distract him from eating but yeah he's gonna have a bit of food now um i can't believe how late it is um but anyway yeah i've got to like do the dishes and stuff after that but we came out of the play thing and he had some snacks in the car and that's kind of why because he didn't have milk then which i thought he might which is why i thought he might go to sleep there whilst we were still there but i started driving as soon as i started driving he was still eating then he was saying milk so um i kind of thought that it's a bit tricky that's why it was a bit of a difficult time really because it finished at 10 past 12 but Next time I think there's early slots, so I will try and book that instead. <laughs> it's obviously a bit like nap slash lunch time. So like either way round, it would have meant that, you know, the other one would have been late. So if he hadn't gone to sleep, he would have had lunch, but then probably his nap would have been late. So you can't win really, can you? So anyway, yes, that is what we're doing now. But he had a really good time and yeah, I don't know why I was so nervous about really like as soon as I was, as I was there I just I felt okay um I don't know how many children were there actually it was quite I think I got a feeling I'm sure there's like 20 tickets or something so um yeah and obviously all the mums were there and Arthur like interacted with a couple of children but they were kind of most of the children were kind of just like doing their own thing maybe because it's role play um but yeah it was really really good he really liked the like there's little like cafe set up which he loved um the shop one he really liked as well and the post office he loved the post office but yeah it was very good so if you have any like pop-up villages by you then it's definitely yeah. worth they were good weren't they Arthur? Yeah. was it good yeah. what did you like doing yeah. the shop yeah, I okay. post office yeah. and you were giving mummy some cakes and you were giving another little boy some cakes weren't you and then, in the post office, you were playing with the little boy and you patted him on the head, didn't you? <laughs> I bet out, but I bet out. Yeah. Bet. Oh, yeah. He was getting the letters out and Arthur just went like, oh, like that on his head. <laughs> because he was a bit smaller than him. I don't know, like, in a gentle way. Which was very sweet, wasn't it? That was nice. <laughs> oh, then we had to go, didn't we? Mm. Yeah. Well, Arthur, would you like to go there again? Yeah. <laughs> Where's Mrs. Seal? Oh, I can see a big.
on Noddy for our third because I really wanted to watch it and then I'm just going to carry on with the washing up. Right, so I've done the dishes now. As I said, I put on like half, well, more than halfway through. Arthur kept in Noddy, he was in the front room playing, so I just thought I'll put that on. So we've been watching it for like 10 minutes, I think. Um, so we can watch it a bit longer, obviously. And then, yeah, and then I've just put on the washing, like towels and things like that, which always need it. Excuse all our coats there. So I'll come in and sit with him now, maybe like do a bit of tidying the toys whilst I'm here. And I just want to talk about, and I'll just come back so that you can't the TV too much. Yeah, I just want to quickly say as well about like the mess. I am just going to pause this. I don't expect my house to be like clean and tidy and toy free, obviously. I was going to say all of the time, but actually any of the time. And me and my husband were talking about the other day, we're actually like, you know, obviously there's only a certain length of time that Arthur will be at home, make a mess, toys everywhere. And it's like, when that stops, it will actually be really sad. Um, and I know that sounds a bit silly, but I like, I don't mind it. <laughs> like sometimes, you know, we've like cleared it all away and it's all tidy and then you think, oh, like it does lose a bit of character. So, um, yeah, you'll never find that my house looks like completely mess free. It's not possible anyway. Like literally, there's a cupboard over here, which I'll show you in a minute. If you watched my recent um, like cleaning video, I did a get it all done video. We have a cupboard, the dresser, where it's just like mostly toys and some games. It's like musical instruments. And it's right here in the kitchen or by the kitchen. So like he'll just pull it all out basically like it was all tidy yesterday and then this morning it's all out but I just think it doesn't really matter it's a never-ending battle and I think it's important to like obviously clear it a bit because it's a tripping hazard for one but also you know I don't really want him to come into the front room where like all of his toys are all over the floor first thing in the morning because it's like I don't know I think it's just better for him to like pick and choose what he wants to play with if that makes sense rather than just coming down and it's all like scattered everywhere so obviously yeah we do tidy um but you know I'm not like someone that has to have it completely tidy I think it's not possible anyway all of the time you know because literally like you put one thing away and you get something else out so this is the cupboard here which I'm talking about so obviously that the kitchen is here um obviously this is the kitchen uh sorry error. and then it's this cupboard here which is like our dresser our dining table's there um, oh, there's a bowl over there. Missed that. Um, yeah, so obviously some toys are in here, but all of his books and things are in there. And as you can see, like, obviously it's just really easy for him to pull out. It's very accessible, which is a good thing, I suppose. <laughs> but yeah, it all just ends out over the floor. Um, but you know, that's life. And then this is what the front room looks like. So um, obviously this is what he's been playing with today. I did actually this morning, like, manage to, like, clear the rug. That is actually quite tidy. Obviously it's like, there's like piles of books and that's like colouring books, things like that. He's got some trains back there. Um, but you know, he likes his puzzles, he likes his train track and the other train, Lego train there. Um, so it's kind of like the best we can do really. I need to tidy that though. Um, but yeah, he's watching Noddy. So I think he's watched like two episodes now. So we're almost at the end. This is a story about a 
Laura. Yeah. Here's That's it. I put the eyes. Oh, it's there. eyes. Should oh. we find the stick, uh, eye stickers? Can you see the eyes? No. I can. Uh. Oh, the bird. Who put the bird there? Uh. Arthur did. Bye bye. Uh, all right. Should we get those out as well? Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> You're being cheeky, aren't you? How many teddy bears? Two. Two. Where's number two? Is that number two? Yeah, ten. Oh, that's ten, is it? Oh. Um. Is that number two? Yeah. No. <laughs> oh, that's two. That's <laughs> 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 it. That's it. Oh, that's from a different set, I think. Is it that one? Oh no! Oh yeah! Yeah! yeah. Well done! <laughs> I did a face! <laughs> Yay! Yay! Hey, hey, 
Hi, Nose and Mouth. We've just had our tea now and I've just done the dishwasher and washing up again. <laughs> it takes so long, doesn't it? Um, but it's probably coming up to bath time now. So I'll just, uh, I've just like decanted the leftovers into a little pot. So I might try and see if Arthur wants any of that for his lunch. Um, I did actually film our tea very briefly because I'm going to do a Meals of the Week video like this week. But I probably won't upload it yet, probably like for a two weeks or so just because I've only just done one and I don't want it to be I don't want my channel to be too like I do my food tours every week but I don't want the other videos to all be about food because obviously I want to do other like mum videos too so but yeah keep your eyes peeled if you want to see meals of the week or I'll link the last one below where you can have a look have a look um but yeah like I say it's bath time um I feel really out of breath <laughs> it's hard work I've also just put all the wash in from the washing machine because I forgot about it, into the tumble dryer and got all the stuff out of the tumble dryer, which was already dry, like the towels and things. But I'll take that out with me now when I run the bath. So yeah, that's it. That's the end of the day. So hopefully you enjoyed spending the day with us. I hope that you did. And yeah, if you like it and you're new, then please do subscribe. I post lots of videos about mum life. I share things that I've bought, things that I've learned, our routines, our days, like today. I also do food hauls, which I just mentioned, every Friday. And then like I said, I do do some kind of food videos, like meals of the week. I did one about meals that Arthur actually eats. <laughs> so yeah, I'd love for you to subscribe if you'd like to. And yeah, thank you so, so much for watching and I'll see you soon. Bye everyone.